Welcome back to History of Simple Things. Today's topic comes from one of our viewers, John Marquez, 128. Thanks for the suggestion. You asked, how is tungsten made? If you've ever used a power drill, seen a glowing filament, or even held a wedding ring made of an ultra-dense metal, you've encountered tungsten. This element is one of the toughest substances on Earth, capable of withstanding extreme heat and pressure. But how does this extraordinary metal go from raw rock to refined material? Stick around as we uncover the fascinating journey of tungsten, right here on History of Simple Things. Tungsten doesn't just pop up ready for use, it starts its life buried deep in the earth. Most of the world's tungsten is mined from minerals like wolframite and skelite. These ores contain tungsten, but it's locked inside a mix of other elements. Mining tungsten is no small feat. The ores are usually found in hard-to-reach mountainous regions in countries like China, Russia, and Canada. Miners extract the ore through open pit or underground mining methods, depending on how deep the deposit is. Once the ore is dug out, it gets crushed into smaller pieces, making it easier to process. Crushing the ore is just the beginning. The next step is separating tungsten from the rest of the rock. This is done using a process called gravity separation, where the heavy tungsten minerals sink while the lighter unwanted materials get washed away. Sometimes froth flotation is used, which involves adding chemicals to make the tungsten float to the surface, making it easier to collect. After these initial steps, the ore is still not pure tungsten. It contains oxygen, sulfur, and other impurities that need to be removed. This is where chemical processing comes in. The extracted tungsten minerals are treated with sodium hydroxide or hydrochloric acid, breaking them down into a form that can be purified further. Now comes the real transformation. The chemically treated tungsten is converted into tungsten oxide, a yellowish powder that still isn't the pure metal. To get pure tungsten, the oxide is heated in a furnace with hydrogen gas. This process, called reduction, strips away the oxygen, leaving behind fine gray tungsten powder. This powder is incredibly useful because it can be shaped into whatever form is needed. But before it becomes solid tungsten, it has to go through another process, sintering. Unlike other metals that can be melted and cast into molds, tungsten's extreme melting point makes that impossible. Instead, manufacturers use powder metallurgy. The tungsten powder is compressed into a mold at high pressure, forming a rough shape of the final product. Then, the shaped tungsten is heated in a sintering furnace at temperatures just below its melting point. This fuses the particles together, making the material strong and dense. At this stage, the tungsten is still not at its full strength. To further enhance it, the metal undergoes hot working processes like rolling, forging, or swagging. These techniques refine the grain structure, increasing its toughness and making it suitable for high-stress applications. Now that we have solid tungsten, where does it go? Well, it has a wide range of applications. One of the most famous uses of tungsten was in old-school incandescent light bulbs. The thin filament inside the bulb was made of tungsten because it could withstand extreme heat without melting. In the industrial world, tungsten carbide, a super hard compound made by combining tungsten with carbon, is used to make cutting tools, drill bits, and even armor-piercing ammunition. If you've ever seen a high-speed drill slicing through metal, chances are it had a tungsten carbide tip. Tungsten also plays a huge role in aerospace engineering. Because it's incredibly dense, it's used for balance weights in airplanes, counterweights in helicopters, and even radiation shielding in medical equipment. Despite its incredible properties, tungsten is not an unlimited resource. Mining it is expensive, and since it's mainly found in a few countries, 
its supply is tightly controlled. That's why scientists are constantly working on ways to recycle tungsten. Old drill bits, cutting tools, and even military equipment can be processed to extract tungsten for reuse, reducing the need for fresh mining. There's also ongoing research into tungsten alloys, mixing tungsten with other metals to create materials that are strong but easier to work with. Some of these alloys are being used in space exploration, where heat resistance and durability are crucial. While tungsten's incredible properties make it highly valuable, they also make it difficult to work with. Its extreme hardness means that cutting and shaping tungsten requires specialized tools, often made from tungsten carbide itself. Welding tungsten is also tricky, since it has a high melting point and doesn't fuse easily with other metals. Instead, tungsten components are typically joined using brazing, where a lower melting point metal bonds them together. Another challenge is tungsten's brittleness at room temperature. While it's incredibly strong, pure tungsten can crack if subjected to sudden impact or stress. That's why engineers often mix it with other elements like rhenium, which improves its ductility, making it less prone to breaking. Despite these challenges, tungsten remains one of the most indispensable materials in modern industry, proving that even the toughest metals have their own set of obstacles to overcome. From deep underground to high-tech industries, tungsten's journey is nothing short of incredible. This metal, with its unmatched strength and heat resistance, has shaped industries from aerospace to manufacturing. The sheer effort it takes to mine, refine, and mold tungsten into usable forms speaks volumes about its value and importance. It's not just another metal. It's a game-changer for modern engineering and technology. Whether it's helping a spacecraft withstand extreme conditions or making your drill bit last longer, tungsten is woven into the fabric of everyday life. Its future lies not only in continued industrial use, but also in sustainable recycling and innovative alloys that push the boundaries of material science. So next time you come across something made of tungsten, take a moment to appreciate the incredible journey it took to get there. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.